Cabinet Vision Solid version 9.0 introduces a whole new reporting engine to us. As you can see, I have a sample job opened with some cabinets in it and have gone to take a look at the panel stock cut list that ships with Cabinet Vision. The first and most noticeable change in the report center is this new pages panel. I can use this to get a quick preview of each report page and clicking on a page will bring me directly to it. Now I selected this report as it also has the directory tab here. Not all reports will have the directory tab, but it is something that can be set up in the report itself. If I click on this tab, we can see the section headings for the different pages. Clicking on the directory sections will bring me directly to the beginning of that report section. Another thing that I want to point out is the new report format. As you can see, extra large one inch margins have been placed around all of the reports, as well as new fonts selected to give easier reading of the report. Now, what would these margins and fonts be if we couldn't print the report? While printing our reports are nothing new, with our new report engine also comes a new print dialog. This dialog gives us greater control over what gets printed and how. We can see that we can select a target. This would be the printer that this report would be sent to. Next we have the direct to option, which is really just to print at this point. Then we have a bunch of options to select from. The first page option allows us to print the whole set of reports, but specify a different numbered page as the starting page. We can, as always, still specify a number of copies as well. Finally, we can specify that we want to print all pages or a range of pages. This range is pretty cool as we can type in a comma separated list of pages like 1, 3, 6, 7, and uh, we can also add a range like 2 through 8. In fact, we can join these two together to get a really complex range if we so need. Oh yeah, and we can even print uh, odd or even pages only if we so need it. On top of the new print dialog, we have a new export dialog as well. So let me cancel out of this dialog and click the export button. We can see that it has all the same options as the print dialog, but it also includes a massive amount of export options in the direct to list. With all of that, let's go ahead and cancel out this dialog and then click on the Setup Reports button to see some of the new capabilities of this new report engine. So, if you're familiar with previous versions of Cabinet Vision, this should look very much the same to you, with a few changes here and there. These few changes add up to make a big deal. The first thing I want to point out is the new legend group here. This details out the two different icons you will see here. We have System Reports and User Reports. As a note, you can't change the system reports. They are fixed and ship with Cabinet Vision. But let's move on to the setup. While we can't change the system reports, they will give us a bit of insight on what we are able to work with for user reports. So I want to edit the properties of this report. To do so, I just need to pick a report. Now I can either click on the new button in the ribbon bar to open the properties dialog, or I can right click on the report in the list and select properties. Now there's a lot of information that I can alter about this report and that is really outside of the scope of this video. So right now I'm going to point you to your help files for Cabinet Vision version 9 to find out how this dialog would work and what all it can do. For now, let's close this and create a new report. To create a new blank report, all we have to do is click on the new report button in the ribbon bar. Now, creating a new report like this would require an understanding of how the report properties dialog works. And since I just told you to take a look at that in the help files, we're going to instead create a copy of an already existing report. For this, I can just select the report, let's say the face frame report, and select copy. This will prompt us for a change in name and description. Just to keep it separate from the rest of my reports, I'm going to add the my to the beginning of this name and click OK. As you can see, this created a new copy of the report and zipped us all the way down to the bottom of the list to select it. Now that I have that copy, I can just right click on this new report and select Edit. Alternatively, I could have selected it and clicked on the Design Report button as well. Now this will bring us right into our Report Designer, which is new for Cabinet Vision Solid version 9.0. This is a pretty detailed system and it also has its own help files for you to learn on how to use it. And at this point I think it's time to show off the final Report Center feature, which is actually back at the splash screen. So now that we have our custom report, how do we get it out of Cabinet Vision to back it up or send it to another computer? In previous versions, we would just grab the Crystal report, 
that was in the planet directory, but we'd have to create a RIM file to import it into the new computer. With Cabinet Vision version 9, though, the reports are contained inside of the program. To get them out, I can just go to the Utilities tab, click on the Setup Package Command button, and then select either Reports or S2M Center Reports. Now we can see our new report in the list. You might be wondering, why don't we see the system reports? Well, that's because everybody has those already, and there's no need to pull those out. So at this point, I would just select my new report, or series of reports that I'd want to add, and then click the Add Items to Package button. And there you go. I could now save the reports and send them out to other Cabinet Vision users or other computers in my organization easily. Now I just want to say thank you for taking the time to watch this video on the new features of Cabinet Vision Solid version 9.0. If you need any additional information, please visit us at www.cabinetvision.com to learn more about Cabinet Vision.